Hello everybody, I'm Jack Mulligan with Fango Media, the media company made by fans for fans. It's currently week two in the NFL. I'm standing outside of Gillette Stadium in an overtime game between the Patriots and the Seahawks. Right after the game, we're going to get some fan reactions and get some real honest takes about this game. Coming right up, stick around. <laughs> All right, so game obviously didn't end the way you want with the Seahawks getting away. What do you think happened at the end? Um, I think that we should have went far on that fourth and one. Uh, I think we had a pretty good chance of getting it, and then we just handed it over to them, and they drove down the field and put it to us. How do you feel about those timeouts that were called early in the second half? Do you think that maybe came back to bite us in the fourth quarter? I do. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. And how are you feeling about uh, Jacoby Brissett's quarterback play? Do you think it's time to pull the trigger and bring in Drake May? It was subpar, no long shots all day today. Um, so, yeah. We need Brady back. We need Brady back. <laughs> yeah, we do. We might. All right, any final thoughts about the game? Um, it was a close one, hard fought. Our defense looks good, but we got to tune up some things on offense. Not a good game for the Patriots, obviously heading into week two loss. How are you feeling? Not great. Hoping we can make up for it. And, uh, you know, they looked all right out there, but need to make some uh, make some adjustments and hopefully we can make a, uh, a comeback here in week three. Yeah, I hear a lot of people complaining about uh, weren't, we're going for it on a fourth down. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, did you say we weren't going for it on fourth down? Yeah, we weren't. Yeah, I'd like to have made a little bit of a, a bigger push there, but, you know, it is what it is, and uh, we'll see what we can do next week. Yeah, how are you feeling about uh, Gerard Mayo as head coach so far, like two him. weeks in? You know, I think we got to give him a little more time to uh, to adjust, and, and we'll see where things shake out, but I like him so far. And obviously, Jacoby Brissett, you know, had a decent game, not amazing. Do you think it's time to pull the trigger on Drake May or what? I don't know. I, you know, I'd love to see what Drake May's got, but, you know, uh, Jacoby hasn't done anything abysmal yet, so we'll see. You know, I guess we can hang on as long as we can here. How do you feel about this game? It was promising, you know. I mean, wish they got the win, but, you know, they didn't look terrible in the process. So. Yeah. one and one's a lot better than 0-2. It's a lot better than 0-2. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel about this team compared to where they were last year? They're definitely a little better than last year. I mean, everyone... I know all the reports have us being like 1-16 in 16 or whatever they have us being out to be. I think we're going to get at least six wins, maybe seven, you know, on a good note. So it's going to go from there, you know, just hopefully we uh, just keep building on this. You feel good with Jacoby Brissett so far? I want May in there. I want to see how he does, but I get it. You know, we have a very bad offensive line. Let Jacoby take the hits for now. Kind of go from there. You know, the, the team looks solid today. Um, Geno Smith started out a little bit shaky, but then he got going again. Found DK open, found Jackson Smith open. The defense started out shaky. They started out shaky with not being able to guard a tight end as much, not being able to stop the run, but then they got it back together and they came out with a good win today. All right, overtime win, very exciting. Were you happy with that? Oh, I mean, it's not the way I was expecting it to go, but at the end of the third quarter, I went to win, so yeah, I was very happy with that. Yeah, heading into this week, a lot of people thought the Patriots were just going to get mowed over. They didn't seem like a good team, but you know they put up a good fight. How are you feeling about the Patriots? You know, you might not play them, but they're looking solid. I mean, after being the Bengals last year, they came out hot today and they looked looked fantastic. Hey, Seahawks are two and zero going against the Patriots. How are you feeling after the game? Feeling all right. I mean, um, obviously, we saw the linebackers were playing pretty sloppy. Our uh, our DBs played pretty solid. I mean. Patriots got a lot of lucky plays. I do got to say that. Um, I'm feeling all right. Week one, it was it was a nail biter. Week two is the same thing. So, going up against two mediocre teams and have a nail biter, it's not it's not too hype. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's an interesting game as well because we got it's kind of uh, Drake May and then Mike McDonald. We got two brand new head coaches. Sorry, not Drake May. Jacoby Brissett yeah. and uh, and Mike McDonald. We got two brand new head coaches to the team. How are you feeling about Mike McDonald so far? And do you miss Pete Carroll at all, or are you just glad that he's gone? I like, I like Pete Carroll a lot. Don't get me wrong. I do miss Pete Carroll. He was a big part of our franchise, obviously. We know that. But now we, we definitely need some young, raw talent on the Seahawks team, especially with the players we have right now. We got some young core. We got Devon Witherspoon. He's second year in the league. Tariq Woolen is third year in the league. So we definitely need a young, balanced head coach. Obviously, Mike McDonald, we saw what he did over in Baltimore with that defense. Made them probably the best defense in the league. With this young talent, I mean, I think he can make our defense like up there too. So, yeah, and obviously Geno Smith, he's had his comeback of his career. Now he kind of is cementing himself in a place in Seattle. Are you happy with his play today, or would you hoping for a little bit more, especially for a team that people perceive as weak, like the Patriots? I can't really blame anything on Geno today. He did all around. He held his own um, offensive line. That's definitely a factor right there, and a lot of play calls that we had, especially that um, 
that fourth and one and uh and the end zone where they threw a like I think they, they ran a read option or something like that. They didn't hand the ball off to Chabonet, they did some read option, which kind of screwed him up. But overall, Gino had some great plays, some good reads, so I'm not gonna put the blame on Gino. Whatever bad calls we had, definitely that's on our head coach and our offensive coordinator. So all right, so obviously the Seahawks are 2-0, but you got a tough division. you got the Rams, you got the 49ers. Uh, don't want to jump too ahead of yourself, but how are you feeling so far about the Seahawks season? Do you think they could be a playoff team, Super Bowl contender? Definitely Where are you at? Definitely a playoff team, Super Bowl contender. We're not there yet. Obviously, we see what's going on in the league right now with like the 49ers and the Chiefs. So um, I would say all around we're a good team so far, but we face two pretty like mediocre teams, I'd say. Um, once we start facing some real like top tier playoff talent, then I can speak on that. But as of now, I'm just gonna say like I could see us being a wild card team. Well, folks, there you have it. I'm Jack Mulligan here with Fango Media outside of Gillette Stadium for the Patriots' home opener. A tough loss in overtime to the Seattle Seahawks with a uh, 20 to 23 final score. Once again, this is Fango Media, a media company made by fans for fans. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and check down the link below if you're interested. Fango Media is out here trying to support independent journalism. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.